Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel, Catherine's Plates. Today I am working on a segment on my channel called Trader Joe's Cooking Reviews. Now this segment has been around for about a year and a half and it consists of baking mixes or cooking mixes that I pick up from Trader Joe's and make for you. Today I'm going to be making this maple pecan cookies and baking mix. Now this is new for us, I'm not sure if it's new for Trader Joe's, but we've never seen this before. So it just came out for the holidays, so I'm super excited to be making this one for you. Alright, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get started making this maple pecan cookies. Okay, so I'm going to go over everything you're going to need to make these cookies. We're going to start off by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. Now you're just going to need some cookie pans lined with some parchment paper or lightly sprayed. I'm using a one and a half inch cookie scoop here. You're going to need a bowl with a whisk and then just a wooden spoon. Now your cookie mix. You're going to need some powdered sugar. Now I've got about a cup worth in there. You're going to need some cooking oil and two eggs. All right, we're going to build this thing and put these things together for you. By starting off, I'm going to take my bowl here. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead now and place my two eggs into my bowl and then break those up and kind of beat them just a little bit. Alright, I'm going to go ahead now and just bust the yolks up just a little bit. Make it easier to stir the rest of the stuff in. I'm going to go ahead now and add one third cup of vegetable oil. Give that a mix. And then let's see what it says on the back of the box here. Okay, it says after you get your eggs and oil combined, you're going to go ahead and add your baking mix and stir to incorporate. Okay. I just smelled that. It smells really good. Almost like maple pecan. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead now and pour it in there. I'm going to go ahead and mix this together. All right, I'm starting to see the pecans in there. All right, I'm going to go ahead now. This is where I'm going to switch over to my wooden spoon so we can get a good mix. It's pretty dense. Okay, now, if you don't know what my playlist is on Trader Joe's Cooking Reviews, I've done a lot of different baking mixes and cookie mixes like falafel ball mix, a vanilla cake, a lemon cake, a lemon Meyer cake. I've actually done a maple pecan bars last year. This year obviously they have the cookie mix here. I've done, a, um, let's see, a haunted house and it's the same one that was out this year and quinoa brownies that was really good and then a non-gluten free brownie mix that was really good so y'all go check out my playlist i'll link it down below you can see all the ones that i've done okay we're finally getting a good mix on this it's taking a little bit of time here but just want to make sure there's no like powder left it smells delicious though <laughs> I think that's what we were looking for. Alright, so I'm going to take my one and a half inch cookie scoop here and I'm just going to pull it through the dough, kind of flatten it out. There. Oh, you can see it right there. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to place it in my hand, form it into a ball very carefully. Those pecans want to kind of push through the ball there, that's fine. All right, we're going to place it into a bowl of powdered sugar. I'm just going to kind of cover it up and roll it around. Shake it off and place it onto my parchment lined pan here. You want them about two inches apart. That way they can grow. Just like 
that. Now it says it's going to make about 24 cookies, so that's what we're aiming for. <laughs> Into the powdered sugar. I'm doing this because I don't want to get powdered sugar on my hands too much because I don't want to get it back into the dough. Just like that. So I'll probably get three on a sheet here. All right, y'all, while I'm doing this, I want to let you know also that they do have other directions for if you want to make this into a full loaf, which I'm not going to do today. But if you want to see the full loaf, I will get another baking mix and make that for you if I get enough response back on that. Okay, let me do one more and then we'll finish these up. Okay, y'all, I'm ready to put these in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for about 12 to 14 minutes. We want these to be nice and golden. And then once we pull them out, we're going to let them sit on the cookie trays for two minutes and then remove them and put them on cookie racks. All right, I'll be back. All right, y'all, here are my maple pecan cookies that I made from a baking mix from Trader Joe's. All right, they definitely look like the cookie on the box. I'm going to taste these for you and see if I taste maple pecan flavor in these cookies. All right, here we go. Mmm, mmm. That's really good. Definitely can taste the maple in it. It's kind of crunchy on the outside, and as you can see, it's got that nice little crinkle on the top of the cookies, just like they are on the box. Perfect. That powdered sugar on top. And it's like almost like cake on the inside. It's really good. I get a really good flavor of vanilla, too. Mm hmm All right, y'all. I believe this is seasonal. Run out and go get your box now before they run out. <laughs> I'm fixing to go get another box of these and make the loaf. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Make sure you comment down below and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my other videos that I have right here for you. Y'all, I will see you on the next episode.